Numen, place. Numina, is a Latin term for divinity, or a divine presence, divine will. The Latin authors defined it as follows. Cicero writes of a divine mind, divina mens, a god, whose numen everything obeys, and a divine power, vim divinum, which pervades the lives of men. It causes the motions and cries of birds during augury. In Virgil's recounting of the blinding of the one-eyed giant, Polyphemus, from the Odyssey, in his Aeneid, he has Odysseus and his men first, "...ask for the assistance of the great Numina", magna precati Numina. Reviewing public opinion of Augustus on the day of his funeral, the historian Tacitus reports that some thought, "...no honor was left to the gods", when he "...established the cult of himself", say, Coli velet, with temples and the effigies of Numina. Effigy Numinum. Pliny the Younger, in a letter to Paternus, raves about the power, the dignity, and the majesty, in short, the Numen of history. Lucretius uses the expression Numen mentis, or bidding of the mind, where bidding is Numen, not, however, the divine Numen, unless the mind is to be considered divine, but is simply human will. Since the early 20th century, Numen has sometimes been treated in the history of religion as a pre animistic phase, that is, a belief system inherited from an earlier time. Numen is also used by sociologists to refer to the idea of magical power residing in an object, particularly when writing about ideas in the Western tradition. When used in this sense, Numen is nearly synonymous with mana. However, some authors reserve use of mana for ideas about magic from Polynesia and Southeast Asia. Etymology Etymologically, the word means, "...a nod of the head", here referring to a deity as it were, "...nodding", or making its will or its presence known. According to H. J. Rose, The literal meaning is simply, "...a nod." or more accurately, for it is a passive formation, "...that which is produced by nodding", just as flamen is, "...that which is produced by blowing", i.e., a gust of wind. It came to mean, "...the product or expression of power", not, be it noted, power itself. Thus, Newman divinity is not personified although it can be a personal attribute and should be distinguished from Deus God. Roman cults of the Numina Numen was also used in the imperial cult of ancient Rome, to refer to the guardian spirit, godhead or divine power of a living emperor—in other words, a means of worshipping a living emperor without literally calling him a god. The cult of Augustus was promoted by Tiberius, who dedicated the era Numenis Augusti. In this context, a distinction can be made between the terms Numen and genius. Definition as a pre-animistic phase of religion The expression Numen Innist appears in Ovid's Fasti 3, 296 and has been translated as there is a spirit here. Its interpretation, and in particular the exact sense of Numen has been discussed extensively in the literature, the supposition that a Numenous presence in the natural world supposed in the earliest layers of Italic religion, as it were in animistic element left over in historical Roman religion and especially in the etymology of Latin theonyms, has often been popularly implied, but was criticized as, "...mostly a scholarly fiction," by McGuff <laughs> Noumena and specific religions The phrase, "...noumena ris caloc redix mirabere regna." appears on line 129 of the poem Metrum in Genesin, attributed to Hilary of Arles. Numenism is a new religious movement founded in America during 1946, in the wake of World War II and particularly the use of atomic bombs in warfare. Family and community-oriented, it conceives of noumena as individuated, non-corporeal divine energies, similar to Shinto kami. <laughs> Analogies in other societies Kami in Japanese Shinto Mana in Polynesian mythology Mabon in Australian Aboriginal mythology Manituak in Lenape mythology Shahina in Semitic mythology Sila, Inua in Inuit mythology 
Teotl in Aztec mythology Megan in Anglo-Saxon mythology Vaca in Baltic Finnic mythology In popular culture In modern times, the term referring to the Christian God has been used in various expressions. Anakku Vivito, Numen Adist Live Blameless, God is here, was the motto of Linnaeus, taken from Ovid's Ars Amatoria I, 640. Nil sign numin is the state motto of Colorado. Its origin could be the phrase non haec sign numin divum avenient. These things do not come to pass without the will of heaven from Virgil's Aeneid 2, 777. Newman Lumen God is, the light is the motto of the University of Wisconsin-Madison and Elon University. The term Newman appears three times 162.21 in James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. See also Animism Larry's Penitz Sacred comparative religion Topic References Topic Further reading Fishwick Duncan 1990 The Imperial Cult in the Latin West Brill Rudolf Otto October 2004 the Idea of the Holy, An Inquiry into the Non-Rational Factor in the Idea of the Divine 1926. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 978-1-4179-7875-5. Retrieved 9 April 2012. External links Roman religion.